Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up email on your iPhone. Now, this is going to be suitable for anyone who has their own web domain, who wants to set up a POP or IMAP email account. Now, the procedure is quite straightforward, and I'm gonna take you through that in a few easy steps. The first thing we need to do is to tap on our settings icon, which you'll find on the main screen of your iPhone. And once you do that, you need to scroll down a little bit and look for an account and password icon, which sits just above the mail icon. So we're looking for accounts and password. We tap on it and we'll see an option there to add an account. You'll see a number of options ranging from iCloud, Exchange, Google, Yahoo, AOL and Outlook.com. We don't want to select any of these at the moment. We want to go to other, which is the last one on the list. And we're going to tap on add mail account. We'll now continue to enter our name, email address, password, and give our email account a description, which can be useful if we have multiple email accounts, allowing us to identify the difference between each account. Once you enter this information, you'll be taken to the next screen where you can complete the setup procedure. Before we go ahead, you need to make a decision, and that is whether you wanna set up a IMAP or POP email account. Now you need to check your hosting provider to see which one they support and recommend. But just briefly, the difference is that IMAP is basically a reflection of your email being displayed on your phone whereas POP actually downloads those emails physically onto your phone and keeps them there on local storage. So you need to decide which way you want to go there before you proceed. Either way, they both have very similar settings. So our name, email, and description are already filled in from the previous step. Now we need to go in and complete the details of our incoming and outgoing mail servers. So the first option there is incoming mail server, and you'll need to enter in your host name. For example, I'm setting up my email account at Touch Technology Review, and the incoming mail server is mail.touchtechnologyreview.com. My username is my full email address, which is info at touchtechnologyreview.com, and my password is a secret, of course, and I'll go ahead and enter that now. For the outgoing server, it's exactly the same, and I'll be entering the host name of mail.touchtechnologyreview.com. The username is my full email address, and the password is the same that I used before. Now, incidentally, some hosting providers allow you to send email without entering a username and password, so this may not be necessary, but you certainly are better off using an email, uh, username and password, as it increases your security when sending emails. Once you've completed all of the information on the screen, a verifying pop-up box will appear. This might take anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute or beyond, as your iPhone is checking the settings with your server. If you get a message that says it cannot verify server identity, you can still go ahead and continue. And that should be about it. You've pretty much set up your email at this stage. On this final screen, you'll see a number of options. First of all, your account, which you could tap on and go in and apply more advanced settings. This is generally only needed if you need to make further modifications to your account as advised by your ISP. For example, in the advanced tab at the bottom, you can go in and change your SSL settings and your port numbers if at all required. On this final screen, you'll see a mail and notes icon. You can tap mail on or off to make it active in your mailbox. And if you turn notes on, iOS will automatically send any brand new note to your email address. So to go ahead and start using your mail account, just go back to your main screen, look for your mail icon, and you'll now see in your mailboxes, your brand new account is available. Tap on it and you'll find all your emails have been downloaded into your inbox. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this brief tutorial useful. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this and also unboxing and reviews of latest gadgets and technology. That's all for now. See you in the next video. Bye for now.